Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today I'm not gonna do a review. I have to explain a couple of things to you guys. Um, so if you're following me on Facebook at all, then you already know that I had to cancel my 420 show. Um, and the reason just comes down to there was a lack of ticket sales and a lack of general interest. Um, at the end of the day, that's really my like what's what drove my decision. Um, ticket sales just weren't very good. And um, so I kind of had to sit there and analyze um, why, 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 why didn't they, you know, why weren't ticket sales good at all? Why, why weren't things moving? Um, and so I'm going to break down a couple of reasons why uh, this didn't happen or why this ended up needing to be canceled. So what went wrong? Um, first of all, I started off wanting to do a show with Karma. He's a rapper. Uh, but when I reached out to him, he said he was waiting uh, from to hear back from a different promoter who was putting on a much bigger show. Um, so obviously he wanted to wait to see if he was going to be booked for that event. Uh, and instead of sitting there waiting and being patient, um, I said, okay, cool. Uh, that's fine. Let's just do an event with you some other time. And I'm going to go... Um, and, and I created another problem, which was I used Tri-City Locals for a Spokane event without a national touring headliner. Meaning, these people in Spokane have little to no knowledge of who these people were. So I was kind of shooting myself in the foot, but um, the analogy that I'll use is I started running down the hill, and once I started running, it just felt like I couldn't stop. And that if I stopped, then I was going to lose momentum and losing momentum for some reason <laughs> just wasn't an option in my head. Um, and then another reason was I didn't get any industry sponsors. Um, I did reach out to a handful of people, uh, but the people that I did reach out to, they all said no. Um, none of them were interested. And so at that point, my there was red lights. There was, you know, screech, halt, put brakes on this. Every warning sign was going off in my head like, hey, this isn't going to go very well if you're not careful and you don't slow this down. Um, and, and here's why. So for a, for a show, you need to have something that's going to draw people in. With a lack of a nat national touring artist, the industry sponsors. So I was going to try to get a couple of farms or a couple of people... Uh, retailers I've reached out to mainly retailers and I think that's where my mistake was I should have reached out to more farms um, but so what happens is uh, I, I was gonna use the industry sponsors as kind of like the draw for the audience uh, being able to tell them like hey the people who grow your weed and make your products and blast your oil and do all this stuff are gonna be at this party you should come meet them and get to know them and talk to them um, and, and hang out with them outside of a retail setting because um, I know a lot of these brands do like in-store, you know, in-store, in-stores, I guess is what they're called, um, <laughs> meet and greets. And um, so I was going to try to take a little bit of that element of the cannabis industry, bring it over to me uh, and put it, put them in a, in an environment where they can interact with the customers, but without, you know, without the register being in the way. Um, just have a good time and basically through having that good time their brands grow and they start get, getting you know associated with these awesome parties and yada yada so that was the envision that I had um, the second I didn't have sponsors and it was 30 days before the event I should have pulled it anybody with a brain any promoter who like uh, like I said, all the red lights, all, all, all the warning signs, like the, the stomach, every, everything was telling me don't do it because this isn't going to go well. But again, I just pushed ahead and like for some reason, I just I didn't listen to all the warning signs and all of the things that were telling me to slow down. Um, and the last thing was there was a lack of promoters in Spokane. So because I shotgun this thing down and I put it all together in literally less than four days, like the, the guts of it were done in four days. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to run around Spokane and get people interested in helping me promote it. So I was trying to promote a Spokane event, living in Pullman, 
through artists in Tri-Cities <laughs> and most of my promoters and ticket sellers were in Tri-Cities so all of these things there's a as you can tell all of these things scream this isn't gonna go well but you know how the ego gets and you know how things like that go um, you don't want to you, you don't want for me I didn't want to be embarrassed and I didn't want to have to say I'm not doing a good job and I need to slow down like the idea of me doing a bad like not doing a good job just didn't cross my mind I was just like oh I just have to fix this problem and make the next one make the next one make the next one um, I didn't give myself time to breathe basically so with all of those negatives um, what's the bright side of this whole thing <laughs> so there is some bright side so part of it is number one one of the biggest upsides to this is the venue owner is still open to letting me do events at his venue and not only is he letting me do events at his venue still he's willing to school me in the market so basically he's been you know in the spokane area he is a venue owner so he knows the how things work and how things rotate and you know the market basically um so I now know that I have, we spent like a good hour on the phone today um, and not once during our entire conversation did he make me feel um, dumb. Like he didn't make me feel less than capable. Uh, I never felt small when he was talking to me. I felt reassured. Um, I felt like basically I, I went from being you know down in the gutter because i'm i'm dead serious i was like i was almost depressed i uh, it was stressful i went three days without talking very much without being very happy and just kind of like moping around um and having that conversation with him just really woke me up to like hey this is just a speed bump dude like this is a small speed bump you can't quit because of this um and again the fact that i'm able to tell you guys and the fact that i'm sitting here being honest about all of the mistakes um and, and this video isn't just for you guys this video is so that i can go back and look at this the next time i want to do an event i'll sit through watch this and remind myself of why i need to be patient and why things need to be planned out the way they need to be planned out and i'll go through the list of all of my mistakes that i wrote down and i'll make sure that none of those mistakes are happening um, so basically it's just a really really good lesson uh, number two is cannabis brands will now get to see the kind of person I am through this you're, you're watching and you're seeing somebody who's not afraid to tell you hey this is where I messed up and this is where I can improve and um, I'm not my goal is never was never to be this you know big personality or anything like that for the cannabis industry i strictly just want to help it um grow i just want uh i want people to look at wine or weed the way they see wine that is legitimately the only thing i care about um at the end of the day everything i'm doing is so that one day your grandma can go pick up a joint and her entire group of friends isn't going to say anything to them you can go talk to your friends and instead of saying hey let's go to the bar you can say hey let's go to the smoke shop and pick up some stuff and go home and you're not going to be looked at like you're less than like you're ghetto like you're broke like you're trashy the way people look at pot i want it to be something that's more elegant because that's what it is to me to me i know what it takes to grow the plant it's months and then if you're gonna make good clean concentrates that's also hard work if you're gonna make great edibles again it's all hard work and love and all these things that don't equal out to this being a nasty gross thing um, and i just want to showcase that in any way that i can so that's the upside to this is um that, that other companies can now see the kind of person that I am and can see that I genuinely just want this plant to be shared and to grow and spread. Um, another big one is that I have a group of loyal people who wanna make this work also. So when I got done <clears throat> talking to one of the DJs, his response wasn't anger. His response was, he was upset, uh, of course, because he's like, well, that sucks. We can't do that now. Um, but right after that he was like well 
let me help you look for the next headliner and let's let's do this again um, there was no hesitation there so I just you know I want to say a huge thank you to Anthony um, dude that means a lot <laughs> um, and basically the last thing is like I said I can read my mistakes um, I, I wrote them all down so that I don't do them again because I don't want to do it again. <laughs> um, you know, in life, you you live and you learn, and if you don't learn, you're kind of you're gonna keep living a real rough life. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna take these lessons. Um, I'm gonna do what Gary V says, and I took a punch to the face today, but I'll be back. I'll be okay. And this isn't gonna stop anytime soon. So I'm gonna keep doing reviews. Uh, once I have another event planned, I will definitely let you guys know. Again, to those of you who were a part of the event, I'm really sorry. Um, and I will definitely make that up to you guys uh, over time. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching this. If uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comments section. Again, uh, I'm really sorry that I couldn't put this together for you guys the right way. And I will do my best to do it right next time. I'll see you guys soon. This has been Recreational 420.